I hope you will. Let me start by introducing myself as Erika Mkisa, aka Mama Maisha or Mami Zion. I just want to uh, wish all the mothers a happy Women's Day, especially the single moms. I know what you go through, man. It's not easy, but thank you for standing for those children. Thank you for providing and supporting them. You're so special and you're so much appreciated. Yeah, I'll just uh, continue talking about the devices of the enemy and so that as parents we know how best we can help our children grow in the ways of the Lord. Yeah, we have to be very careful. I, in my book, Every Part 2, 18 Years with Lucifer, I mentioned to you that there are some companies and organizations uh, whose logos I saw in the kingdom of darkness, in the in hell while I was serving Satan. When I met with Abaddon, I was able to see logos and things that belonged to us here, but they were connected to the kingdom of darkness. And uh, I'm going to just uh, point out some things so that uh, you wake up and realize that life is spiritual and you start now praying over everything that you buy, every item that you buy. Uh, for, for instance, there are some shoes, as I'm going to show you, there are some shoes that are demonic and they even have satanic uh, logos, satanic symbols on them. Have you guys seen people wearing these red puffy boots? It's the company called Mischief, these boots right here. So what's interesting is that this is the same company that made these shoes, these devil shoes, Satan shoes right here. Also, what else, what else is interesting is that their company, the people who come up with their ideas, they gather in a meeting and they have their meetings on a pentagram, on a pe on this symbol right here, just like how you see here. See, that's why you need to be careful in what you invest in. Yes, they made, they made the Jesus shoes like this, but they also made the Satan shoes. That's why you need to pray about everything and be careful on what you buy, on what's trending, what's viral. Pray about everything you do, about what you wear and what you represent. All right, it's real out here. Share this, make somebody aware Jesus is king no matter what. When you wear those shoes, they affect you, yes, in a way, because the Bible, when it talks about our feet, the Bible says everywhere we step we shall possess. But these sorcerers, what they do, they steal people's destinies. They try to uh, interfere with people's destinies. Now, when they are manufacturing these shoes, they have to draw a circle and a star in the middle of that circle, and they conjure spirits and connect spirits on this particular shoes and then when they manufacture those shoes they they present them in the market uh, space that's why they are very expensive but people will do everything possible to get them not knowing that they are spirits that are driving them to buy those shoes then i also just want you to watch out for some uh, companies yes i i know they are big companies they are big organizations but look at their logos Look at uh, look at this logo. <laughs> Let me just uh, not even mention, but um, look at the family planning logo. It's a rainbow. People are asking, why is this uh, rainbow thing uh, spreading? This thing has been there way back. It's not a new thing. It's been in the pipeline. They've been planning to just bath it. And now what you're seeing is, is, uh, is a big baby that is trying to crawl and to walk, but the pregnancy was there. So now you can look at the human rights, look at their logo, look at the color, their colors of the rainbow. 
And now you know why they are really pushing it as human rights because that's what they stand for. They've been pregnant, they've been pregnant. Now they bathed and the baby is almost walking. So that's why they want uh, every country to legalize it and, uh, and make it possible for their baby to walk. But the Bible talks about these things. The Bible tells us in the last days, they will be marrying and giving in marriage. People will be uh, marrying men, marrying men, women marrying women, and also demons and fallen angels will be mixing with, with mankind. And just imagine a situation where, uh, where the continuity of humanity has stopped because I don't think a woman with a woman can get pregnant or a man and a man can get pregnant. No, it can't happen. But that's what the enemy is cooking. And that's what they've been trying to do all this while. It's been about birth control. So um, I'm, I just want you saints to watch and pray. We, we cannot stop it, but we can protect our children from it because it has already been birthed. I've been talking about the sun portal where they, or they opened this portal and released spirits. And what you're seeing is the manifestation of those spirits. Look at the Garden City logo. Well, it's 666. 666 is everywhere. Are you prepared? Are you ready to say no to the system? Or are you going to sell your soul? Remember the Bible says that, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? I just pray for you, my, my brothers and sisters, to plan very well, plan very well for what is coming, I just don't want you to be caught unaware. Just know that this agenda has been taken to schools where they have even a rainbow Bible in schools. You know, so much is happening. It's just beginning to unfold and the enemy does not want you to know it. That's why the people that are speaking the truth are being persecuted, including me. You wonder why I don't pick your phone calls. Yeah, I don't pick phone calls because I, I don't know who is calling, you know. I have many enemies. Some people call me to threaten to kill me and things of the kind. So I, I just decided to give myself peace. Let me serve, let me give you the information that I have as much as possible and keep praying for me as I pray for you. I love you so much. Remain blessed. I remain Erika Mkisa, aka Mama Maisha, or Mami Zion. Have you been blessed? Well, click on that notification bell so that every time we upload, you'll be the first one to know about it. Please share, comment, and subscribe. Let us know whatever you think about everything that we post. If you want to support our ministry, I just want to remind you that we don't go into the comment section asking people for money. You can find the information in our description box. And then also, you can visit us on our website, www.lifeisspiritual.org. If you want to support our foundation, we have a foundation where we do charity and take care of the orphans, the widows, and the elderly. If you want to support our foundation, you can visit us on our website www.worldshare.com for more information and then also you can support through our paypal account that is running on the screen send wave or world remit through the numbers that are running on the screen and also don't forget to get yourself some copies of our books we have written books entitled Erica Part 1, Seven Years in Hell, Erica Part 2, 18 Years with Lucifer, Erica Part 3, Witchcraft and Spiritual Warfare, Erica Part 4, Death, Hell and Heaven, and The Truth About Money. All our books are available on Amazon, Kindle, and our website www.lifeispiritual.org. Both our websites have our books, you can access them. All our books are available on both our websites. For those of you that are in Kenya and would love to order books, you can contact us on those numbers on the screen. From Uganda, our books are available at Uganda Bookshop, Enjoy Bookshop, and Aristoc Bookshops. If you want to follow us on Facebook, we don't ask for money on platforms and avoid con men, but our Facebook channels are Life is Spiritual and Erika Mukisa's Testimonies. 
Erica Belinda's ministry is no longer my page. It's a hacked page. May God bless you. Thank you so much. Mama Maisha. <laughs>